Welcome to Mission to Mars. In this video, we will show how to model rotational dynamics to generate artificial gravity on a spacecraft. When the members of a spacecraft crew are exposed to weightlessness for months, they develop medical ailments in the form of loss of muscle and bone mass. To prevent these ailments, an artificial gravity environment should be available in the spacecraft. This is achieved by designing a spacecraft that uh, features a torus. The torus may symmetrically spin on a central cylindrical module. It is the rotation of this torus that provides the needed health-preserving artificial gravity environment. In the preliminary planning of a mission from Earth to Mars, a spacecraft is modelled as a rigid body. The general motion of a rigid body always consists of the motion of its centre of mass, capital G, and a rotational motion about G, as if G were a fixed hinge. In this case, the rigid rotational motion is the spinning of the torus about the central cylindrical module. According to rotational dynamics, the rotational motion of a body about its center of mass g derives from the time rate of change of its total angular momentum capital LG about g. This law is expressed as the time rate of change of the total angular momentum vector about g equals the total external torque about the same point g. This torque about g results from all the external forces that may cause a torque on the rigid body about g. In outer space, the external forces are the forces of gravity from celestial bodies. Since they act through G, their torque vanishes. The effect of the forces of gravity on different components of a spacecraft may still provide a moment. This is called a gravity gradient torque. Since the magnitude of this torque is normally minute, it is usually considered vanishingly small and not included in first stage designs and analyses of this kind of spacecraft. An additional source of external moments are maneuvering jet thrusters which are mounted on the spacecraft. From the previous equation, the time rate of change of the total angular momentum vector capital LG eventually generates the equations of rotational dynamics. These equations are named the Euler equations and are expressed as follows. The time rate of change of omega 1 equals omega 2 times omega 3 times I2 minus I3 divided by I1 plus M1 over I1. The time rate of change of omega 2 equals omega 3 times omega 1 times I3 minus I1 over I2 plus M2 over I2. And the time rate of change of omega 3 equals omega 1 times omega 2 times I1 minus I2 divided by I3 plus M3 over I3. In these expressions, omega 1, omega 2, and omega 3 are the three dimensional components of the angular velocity vector omega along three mutually perpendicular principal axes which are rigidly linked with the rotating rigid body. Additionally, M1, M2, and M3 are the components of the external torque along these axes, and likewise, I1, I2, and I3 are the components of the mass moments of inertia along the same axes. 
Our spacecrafts are generally symmetrical about the x1 axis of the main module. It follows that uh, I2 equals I3. The orientation of the spacecraft with a rotating torus is provided by three angles, which are also known as the Euler angles, and they are determined by omega-1, omega-2, and omega-3 as follows. Minus the time rate of change of theta-1 times sine of theta-2 plus the time rate of change of theta-3 equals omega-1. The time rate of change of theta-1 times cosine of theta-2 times sine of theta-3 plus the time rate of change of theta-2 times the cosine of theta-3 equals omega-2. The time rate of change of theta-1 times cosine theta-2 times sine of theta-3 minus the time rate of change of theta-2 times sine of theta-3 equals omega-3. In these expressions, theta-1 is the rotational angle of yaw about the fixed z-axis of the International Celestial Reference Frame, or ICRF. Theta-2 is the rotational angle of pitch, that is to say, spacecraft nose up or down. And theta-3 is the angle of roll. This is the angle of rotation of the spacecraft torus about the axis of the central cylindrical module. The combined solution of systems 2 and 3 will provide the rotational dynamics of the rotating torus. The rotational dynamics of the torus will generate the needed health-preserving artificial gravity environment for the spacecraft crew of the mission from Earth to Mars. This was the final video of the Mission to Mars course. At your disposal is now the entire process to plan and calculate your mission to the Red Planet. It has been a pleasure to present this course to all of you. Thank you so very much and goodbye. Dankeschön, alles Gute und auf Wiedersehen.